Our next contestant is the Wellington Taranaki West Coast Regional winner. She is Deputy Head Girl. She's in the first 11 cricket team and she just recently climbed Mount Taranaki. From Sacred Heart Girls College, New Plymouth, please welcome Savante Wild. The 11th of November 2004 was the homecoming of the unknown warrior. It was also the coming home of all who had not come home. On that day, New Zealand unbuttoned its cloak of grief and laid it as a pall on the tomb of the unknown warrior. Among the thousands who watched the celebrations of that Armistice Day was my then 84-year-old grandmother. She, like so many others, kept a vigil by the television set. She longed to catch a glimpse of her brother in the crowd, a brother she knew could not possibly be there. He had stayed behind in Italy in 1944, not to visit the Colosseum, nor to ponder in awe the Sistine Chapel. He just didn't come home. He was no Cyril Bassett, no Charles Upham, no Colonel Malone. He was a good-looking, curly-haired young man, not unusual. His only claim to fame, his picture in the newspaper as a child, eating porridge on the front steps of his house after the 1931 Hawke's Bay earthquake. He was Private PJ Downing, double for one, 858, from the 27th Regiment of the New Zealand Machine Gun Battalion. And he was ordinary, so ordinary. There was never any thought that he would never come home. So off he went on one big adventure, off to Italy and to war. And off to war with him went everyone he left behind. It was as though the small Hastings community he came from had been picked up and shifted half a world away to Casino, Italy. One evening, he went out for drinks with his cobbers. At the going down of the sun, they returned to Casino Railway Station, where they were camped. The following morning, Monday the 4th of May, 1944, Pat took up his station at the gun. They were not in battle at the time. But at eight o'clock, amid the morning song of the lark, a stray shell caught him. He was 21 and buried by light of moon at 11 o'clock that night under the shadow of a crumbling Monte Cassino monastery. My nana considers her family lucky, lucky that Pat was shouldered by men he knew who dug his grave through rocky ground. Lucky that we knew what happened to Pat Unlike so many others, life goes on, but death, death goes on longer. Sixty years later, in 2004, my nana knew that searching the crowd for her brother's face was not rational. She knew he was never coming home. But grief and loss are not rational. Within the New Zealand national psyche, the return of the unknown warrior was a homecoming of all the unknown and unreturned, marooned forever on a turbulent earth. It did not matter 
that this person was unidentified. In fact, it was fitting and right that he was unknown because his casket could not be confined by length or width, time or place. Within his casket lay the hearts of so many New Zealand families and the dust of so many wars. An entire nation came home with him. For until then, until we were able to bring our dead home, New Zealand was still at war, still unable to let go. E tatari atu nei kia koutou, nā roa, e ngaro atu ai te aroha. We have waited for you through the long years you were away. We know he was found at the Caterpillar Cemetery in Longueval, northern France. We don't know his name, age, race, religion, rank or regiment. We don't know who he left behind. For my family, he was Uncle Pat. Who is he for you? Beyond the tomb of the unknown warrior, I see a regiment of gravestones, row on row. Marking their place are crosses, the vertical pointing to a greater glory, a cause beyond the rocky ground which caught their deaths. And the horizontal stretching on forever, eternally embracing our freedom. They were everyday people, ordinary men who lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. And back at home, ordinary people hoped that their ordinary boy would stay ordinary, would not be singled out or catch a stray bullet. Private PJ Downing, Killed in action, Casino, Gallipoli, Vietnam, Boer, Malaya, Pyongyang. Your son, brother, uncle, father, husband, fiance, best friend. To all ordinary people, male and female, plucked from ordinary lives, doing extraordinary service, who gave their lives for their friends. And to the unknown warrior, Haidemai, not unknown, nor unloved in the hearts of every New Zealander. For every New Zealander has claimed you for their own. You loved, and were loved, and now you lie here where you belong. Sleep well now, the walker has finally brought you home. <laughs>